what Subby Freaking Genius is. So rotational symmetry is when a shape is able to rotate and map back onto itself in 180 degrees or less. So this cube right here has rotational symmetry because you can see every time we rotate it in 90 degrees, it maps back onto itself. Okay, and the number of degrees that you have to rotate a shape until it maps back onto itself is known as the angle of rotation. So for a square, it would be 90 degrees, right? What about this rectangle here? Well, this rectangle also has rotational symmetry because you can see we can rotate it and it will map back onto itself in 180 degrees or less. It's actually exactly 180 degrees. So that would be the angle of rotation. Lastly, we have this trapezoid and you'll see that it does not have rotational symmetry because if we rotate it, right, we're rotating it, we'll hit 180 degrees, it still hasn't mapped back onto itself, right? So this trapezoid does not have rotational symmetry. So the angle of rotation for a trapezoid is 360 degrees because we have to rotate it the entire way around until it maps back onto itself.